This greenhouse it consists of about seven varieties of tomatoes, the different cherries, the different colors, and each color has a health benefit by the way. The yellows, the reds, they all have their own nutrient and minerals for your body. Uh, this is a piccolino. It's a delicious saladette tomato. It's supposed to be a cherry, but the way we grow them, they get full size it's called saladette. The best tomato flavor you're going to have. Joey's holding the white ice. It's, a, it's actually supposed to be a white tomato with a little yellow tint. Very sweet, delicious tomato. Um, and this one here is the dark uh, uh, chocolate or, or cherry. This is the yellow, the old yellow pear tomato, similar to a grape, but it's older, older uh, tomato. And what we do is for our market is make sure they're truly vine ripe, so they they get the best flavor and the and the highest sugars. It's really delicious tomato. Um, Joey's going to pick an orange. The name of this tomato is called Beet Orange. Very, very flavorful. Picked right off the vine and, uh, and available at, at uh, Yarnix Farm. This is a, a pink, pink tomato. If you like pink, it's a little bit lower acid, but really good, good and fresh and really flavorful. There's a fresh cluster of aromas. Again, can't get any fresher. Good flavor. Oh, just like you went to the back garden. Then we're going to go over to the heirloom varieties. Okay, here we have a, a tomato called Mr. Ugly or Conestoga. There's two varieties here. It's a real tasty. It's like the old-fashioned beefsteak. A very high-priced tomato in the market. They're shipped in from different states, but this is grown right here and picked here. This is a new uh, variety this year. Uh, first time developed. This is a seedless tomato. We're going to cut this up front so you get to see that there's no seeds. Really good for people with digestive problems who can't have seeds in their, in their produce. So, something new. All right, let's cut a few, Todd, and see, give you the good smell and you can taste a couple. We're going to cut this tomato. Uh, this is a sweet seedless tomato. Some burpee seed, they just developed it. But you can see it's uh, very meaty and you don't see any seeds. We're gonna have uh, uh, Mr. Ugly. It's an old heirloom tomato. Look at that. This looks like you come right out of the garden. Tomato tastes like a tomato should. We got the aromas. You know, they're just beautiful. Again, all, all ripe inside, you know, naturally ripens. The yellow, this is a really good tasting tomato. Uh, we got to cut a red one for Skyler, so let's try this one. How about pink, Skyler? Is that close enough? All girls like pink. There you go, girl. All right, let me see you eat that. Wow. <laughs> it's good. And one of my favorites is this tomato, and I want you to try it. This, this tomato is my favorite. You don't even have to cut this, but this is a, called Piccolino. And look at that. Mm -hmm. All available at Yarnix Farm. You can get any fresher, you grow it. Any tastier, it's really good.